Hello chess lovers, Sloven here and in today's video we will take a quick look at the game played by the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. Tal's opponent is Soviet chess player Boris Vladimirov, international master from 1964. Meanwhile, this is year 1961 and these two players are crossing swords at USSR championship. Tal opened up with d4 to which Vladimirov answered with knight f6, knight c3, d5, bishop g5 with the so-called Richter Veres of attack. The opening was named after German international master Kurt Richter and later the Soviet master Gavril Veresov, who played it frequently for over a quarter of a century. Bishop takes f6. Kurt Richter loved to play f3, preferring e4, but in our game Tal went for an exchange on f6. e3, bishop b4, bishop d3, in here we first see an exchange on d3 and then on c3. So early on too many minor pieces are exchanged and now let's see what will happen next. Then both players castled king side, knight d7, knight g3. So let me tell you that this uh, Richter Veres of attack uh, or just various of opening is not an ambitious one and from the opening you can't gain much. All in all we have an equality on the board. Meanwhile Tal is establishing this massive pawn center and then he's starting to concentrate his heavy artillery, his rooks in the center of the board. Now he's doubling up them on the e-file. Knight goes on h1, this time Tal is transferring his knight to g4 from where it can uh, create some problems for his opponent. But all in all, yeah, Black is doing great. According to Stockfish, Black is even doing better. But yeah, from a human perspective, maybe we have an equality on the board. Queen a3 in hope of finding some targets. Rook a1 a5 g4, h6 h4, trying to gain some attack on the king's side, but black is just doing great, it's not an easy task to organize an attack, while the one who should worry is white, already this queen side counterplay is becoming very dangerous, f5 e5, b takes c3. According to Stockfish, queen takes c3 is the move, and yeah, in this case, Black can create too many problems for his opponent and then can play c5 for example. Looks like that white is in trouble, but Vladimirov didn't play queen takes c3, won the pawn on c3 with the pawn and this is something which is allowing white to equalize because now after queen f4 followed by knight g4, white is really managing to gain a nice kingside counterattack. c5 was met with a beautiful knight g4 move. Of course the knight is untouchable because of this check followed by rook h2 and then a checkmate will follow. That's why Vladimirov played queen a4 and knight f6. So allowing these knights to land on f6 definitely was not a good idea from black side. Now very soon white can start creating a mating net around black king. Yeah, also this rook is hanging and yeah black is in a very tough situation. So queen takes d4 was made in the game so with knight f6 Tal sacrificed that pawn takes takes rook h2 rook h8. According to Stockfish at this point the only defense is rook g8. You are giving up the exchange, but in the end of the day, you will uh, win it back. You will manage to equalize because, yeah, black has very strong pawns. Now the rook is coming to support the advance of the c pawn. d3 is coming, and black is pretty much managing to equalize. After following this more or less forced line, in the end of the day, we will reach. Uh, an equal rook end game, which is going to end up in a draw. Yeah, this looks very drawish. But after rook h2, we have rook h8, and this is bad, too bad. Rook takes h8, king takes h8, f4, first fixing up the pawn structure, protecting this central e pawn, and then white will switch this rook into the attack. Rook e6. 
king f2 keeping the king near these pawns and also now threatening a checkmate that's why black sacrificed the exchange but already it's too late for this the victory is just a matter of moves and this counterplay won't give black anything a few more moves and vladimirov resigned i don't know maybe he was under a time pressure who knows but yeah this is what happened already after king d4 i guess once tall uh, passed the 40 move rule and gain extra time vladimirov decided to resign if c2 then just rook c1 and then a3 is coming too many weaknesses in black's camp you know that's why after king d4 vladimirov resigned but all in all yeah he was doing great in the end he just uh blundered under a pressure or maybe that was a time pressure he finally cracked and yeah the magician from riga got a full one point in the end the chess puzzle for you where the task is to win with the white pieces as usual we'll wait for your answer in the comment section thanks for watching we'll see you in my next video take care